and just even it out and go down. Um, I'm not going to add too much to this because I'm going to be making another tutorial about it and uh, you sort of maybe get the idea. It's best to just play around with it yourself. You can get a lot of things accomplished with this, um, but um, that's for later. Anyway, so um, now I think it looks pretty good as it is, but uh, there's one important thing that um, is the main difference between uh, scene played here and in Hammer. Uh, see, NPCs have a lot of default behavior well, where they'll try to like look at the player, look at anything interesting nearby, just like glance around in general. So um, to try to like cancel out that sort of bored behavior is um, add a look event. Obviously I'm going to make a new channel for that. New channel. Uh, look at and uh, appropriately there look at actor events we only have one actor but there are also a bunch of things you can look at at any time um, so I'm gonna actually have him look at himself it sounds kind of weird but it basically causes him to not look at anything in particular and just keep his face pointed straight um, it's what Valve uses for scenes where Alex is unconscious shit sorry anyway you are into modding, so I'm hoping you've actually beaten the Half-Life games. But, anyway. Let's just name this event. Uh, look. I don't know. And uh, hopefully that will make it so that um, he's just looking in one direction. You can also have it, um, if you want, look at player. Um, if you want him to just be facing the camera. Let's save the scene. Go to choreography, save, and... Next, I'm going to show you how to put it into Hammer. Alright, so now we're in the Hammer level editor. I'm, I'm hoping that you already know to some degree how to map. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you. I mean, there are already a million tutorials out there, and the world doesn't need one more that's just in video. So if you don't know how to map, I highly encourage you to at least try it out. It's not too difficult to get a simple room like this set up. All this is is uh, six walls, many of which are black. Um, and so far the only entities that I've added to the map are an info player start and an NPC citizen. Now, um, there are a few things that I've changed about him. Um, on the flags, um, you might want to have a certain citizen and decheck the random head so that it'll not randomize it. Um, ignore player push, this, uh, allows you to be a bit more flexible with the camera, um, and so he won't like walk out of your way and so um let's see what else um you might want to gag him but it won't matter if you're recording a video of it um and uh what else you can give him weapons if you want um make sure he's the right type if you want i'm just gonna keep him as the default for this um, the right model, etc. And, uh, I think he's fine as it is. And be sure to give him a name. Uh, I'm just gonna call him Guy. Alright, so, now what we're gonna add to the scene is our, um, first off, uh, we're going to add the scene itself, which is a logic choreographed scene. You place that there, and let's take a look at the properties. I'm just going to call it scene. Um, for scene file, you obviously click browse, and then uh, find the one that you were making earlier. And for these target things, these might be a bit misleading. You don't actually have to fill these out unless you have a certain actor called um, capital, uh, I mean, exclamation mark target one, like in your uh, choreography data. Otherwise, It'll just try to find any um, NPC that has the same name as um, the actor. So that's important to name the NPC the same way. If I call this guy person, then it wouldn't recognize him as the appropriate actor. Um, so now, um, to trigger it, I'm just going to add um, one of Half-Life 2's prefabs. Um, just a button keypad that's something that um, I could just have the player use um, 
I'm just going to raise it off the ground a bit and uh, add an output. Make sure you select the actual um, like uh, trigger, not the um, the entire prefab that can sometimes mess you up. Um, on pressed, um, I'm going to add a new on pressed um, scene. Uh, start. I'm going to have it so that this activates the scene rather than a logic auto or something because stuff can go wrong when you have something happen the instant that the map loads. Um, and so that should do it. Let's uh, go in game and see if this works. Um, Alright, so now we're in Half-Life 2. I wasn't able to get windowed mode working, but unfortunately. Anyway, um, we'll now see the scene play out. All right, and uh, I suppose that's the end of the lesson for today. Yeah, you better ignore me. I'm gonna stab you in the back. <laughs>